The article featured in today's video is brought to you by Segment Next, a gaming news website that who commonly post news sometimes days before mainstream news websites like IGN and GameSpot. Visit the link in the description below for more info. Now on to today's topic. What's up everyone, it's Tech Trooper 64 and we are only 8 days away from E3 2017. I am excited, you should be excited too. But, on the eve of E3, exactly 8 days away, uh, we have a rumor coming from Segment Next stating that Star Wars Battlefront 2 is going to be running at native 4K at 60 frames a second on Xbox Scorpio. Now, this is from Segment Next, but it was from originally a tweet from a user who works, a blogger, sorry, who works at Windows Central, which is kind of tied into Xbox Central, um, and his name is Jez Corden. He tweeted out, because some, it actually started originally as a Windows Central tweet, and someone named Bradley kind of responded to it. So I'll kind of, I'll put a picture up on screen of the conversation as I'm reading through it. So Windows Central posted on Twitter, uh, what should you expect from e Xbox E3 2017? At Jez Corden, the guy I was talking about, rounds up the rumors, known details, and wrapped up piles of 4K. Um, and then they leave a link. Then Bradley responds, If you think that they're going to put hardware to support 4K gaming for $500 or less, you are, you are out of your goddamn mind. Microsoft has to make money. Then Jez Corden says, Xbox is subsidized. Or subsidized. Uh, PCs aren't. If you think Microsoft's going to price this above $500, you're in for a shock. Then Bradley says... I'm sure they'll, they'll price it at $500, but that means that the hardware won't be up to spec by comparison to do true gaming, 4K gaming on PC. Then Jez Corden says the following, and this is interesting. I already know Star Wars Battlefront 2 will run and look better on Scorpio than the vast majority of PCs on Steam, native 4K at 60 frames a second. Well, I'll be damned. So, Star Wars Battlefront 2 is a game I'm hyped up for. I already pre-ordered my Xbox One and PS4 copy, which hopefully, I'm assuming, the Scorpio version is going to be uh, forward compatible, which, if it isn't, I think people will be pissed. I'll be pissed as well, because I'll have to, like, spend, like, what, like, 10 bucks just to scorpio eyes it, if you know what I mean? But anyway, back to what, what they're talking about. So... Battlefront 2, a big game like Battlefront 2, running on Frostbite Engine. Keep in mind, a game that on normal Xbox hardware, usually Frostbite games run at 720p natively, is going to be 4K at 60 frames a second on Scorpio. Like, I get it that the Scorpio is super powerful, but I'm even I'm a little bit skeptical. Of course, this is just a rumor, but I wouldn't be surprised if... Uh, at E3 2017, we see that they show Star Wars Battlefront 2 and many other games running at 4K at 60 frames a second. Again, this is all rumor and speculation, but on the eve of E3, we're hearing this. That's going to be interesting. And the fact that he's saying that the price is not going to be over 500 bucks, first of all, makes me relieved. And second of all, does that mean it possibly might be cheaper than 500 bucks? Who knows? Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below, ladies and gentlemen, and thank you all so